Hello and welcome back to Disturbed. Today, we are going to try to find that good ending. You've already seen all this. So we're going to check the shed, go in the house. You know what, Let, let's find out what happens when we lay in bed. You lay in your bed and fall asleep to the light sound of wind blowing outside against the grass. You begin to hear whispers and chants. But you can't make anything of it. An image appears before you, a stone glowing as if it were alive. The chants get louder as your vision grows in more detail. As you reach toward the stone with your hand, as your finger makes contact, a clash of thunder rattles around you. Your clothing and skin start to flake away like dust in the wind. The particles flow into the stone, sapping the life from your body. You feel pain you've never experienced before and fear begins to flood over you. <clears throat> you suddenly see yourself lying in bed, never to wake up again. Your adventure ends here. Shoot, well that's graphic. Oh, yeah, um, it's a little bit late, but yeah, disclaimer. Horror game, again, don't watch it if you're not okay with horror stuff. Okay, let's get back to this. We're gonna check the shed, check the house. Um, read the journal. We've already read that. Check the chest. Go back outside. Let's go to the crops. So we know from last time that the key we get from the wagon at least does not go to the shed. I thought it might when I saw it, but it does indeed not. Alright, follow the path. Oh, I can go into the cave. <laughs> I thought that was an option to go back, but no, you can't you can't go back now. All right. There's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there is a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight found outside. Go further into the cave. Before you take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake, even thinking that something helpful can be in here. <laughs> We're gonna fight the bear! You scan the ground and notice that there are numerous rocks you can grab to throw at the bear. You begin to do so as the bear approaches you. One after the other, you throw the rocks as hard as you can. It's not gonna do crap to a bear. The bear charges at you as you bend over to grab another rock, tackling you to the ground. The bear bites into your neck. Your body quickly goes limp and you die. Wow. Okay, that's intense. Um, We're just gonna go straight here. I wanna see what happens when you run away. Go further into the cave. Run away. The moment you turn to run, the bear roars with a deep growl, shaking the loose stones all about the cave. All you can think about is making it back home in one piece. Well, you make it to the trail. Then the bear catches up with you, tackling you to the ground. You scream in pain as the bear rips you apart. Your adventure ends here. Okay, not a different achievement, but fine. Alright, so we're gonna go... Continue down the path. I'm just doing everything at this point. Inspect the wagon. Got a key. Open the trap door. Okay, we're back here. We're gonna talk to the woman. And then decline. I will not. No, don't go. With nothing else to interact with, you make your way up the stairs. As you exit, you can hear the woman laugh behind you. The voice causes the shack to shake. You leave the shack as fast as you can. You leave the shack and cross the bridge before something bad happens. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree to sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Pick at the grass. As you pick at the grass blades in your reach, 
The ground begins to shake. Before you can get up, roots from below sprout from the ground and wrap around your legs. Oh, shoot. Is that an end? You turn around to see a large, angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in horror. No sound or scream escapes your tongue as the tightening grip of the roots squeeze what air is left in your body. Your adventure ends here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's fair. Oh, we don't need to go in the house. Is there anything I can, like, click on? No, I'm guessing big ol' no on that one. Follow the path. Continue down the path. We're not even gonna inspect the wagon. Cross the bridge. Um, take a nap. Your eyes close as your body relaxes. You fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Details emerge as you gaze. I wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you, and you realize who this is. It's you, right? You try to wake yourself up. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. It all seems well, but you can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. You reach a point where the trail splits into two paths. Which way should you go? We're going left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up toward a nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would have never noticed. Which way do you go? Um, let's go trail in the grass. Following the subtle trail in the grass, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. That's a sword. Pick it up. Inspect the grave. You approach the grave. You look at the sword with intrigue. Whoa! Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. Oh, uh, okay. The sword. May I have it? The blade is cursed. I am bound here by the pain of my past. If you desire this sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Fool! Only something of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope. Like a flower found in darkness. Uh, well, this is a ghost. Guarding a sword. I'm gonna back away. I think he knows what he's talking about. You listen to the specter and leave the sword. Um, okay. Continue on. You pause to see that there's a lake nearby. The trail continues on to your right. Hmm. Uh, inspect the lake. You step near the lake and look down onto it. Whoa! Resting underwater is an orb of some sort, sitting on the bottom of the lake. There is something strange about it, as if it were calling you. Dive in, absolutely, that sounds like a great idea. You close your eyes and jump into the lake. You open your eyes to see the stone sitting before you. You start to make your way toward it. A large fish comes into view. It quickly notices you and its mouth stretched open. You try to leap for the surface, but the fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. You close your eyes as the giant fish rips your body apart with its teeth. You die a very painful death. Alright. Um, that's fun. I'm just going to go check what the sword does. Inspect the grave. There we go. The sword. May I have it? Um, grab the sword. You reach for the sword, but before you can lay a finger on it, the spirit grabs your arm. A sharp pain flows over your body as flesh melts off your bones. Hey, this is the image we saw before from the tree. What fragments remain fall to the ground. Alright, let's go right this time. You reach the end of the pathway, and the distance is a tower looking over the area. A gate secures the passage to the area with a wall around the property. Also of interest, there's a tree that has a hole carved into it. Um, inspect the tree. 
You approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand in. You look and see something shiny in the hole as if it were metal. Feeling around with your hand, you find three knobs, one on the right, one centered, in the middle, and one on the left. Press the knobs. Right knob. Middle knob. Left knob. The knobs lock in place. You wait for a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of combination. I'm gonna guess it. Middle, right, left. Alright. Oh shoot, I did it! Hey, I did it! Alright! You hear the rumbling of rocks as the ground starts to shift underneath you. Everything goes dark and you sink below the surface. The hole above you seals up, trapping you underground. Okay, that didn't seem like the best decision, but alright, we're here now. You find yourself with no evident way out, but the path before you into darkness. Your only choice is to move forward. You see three separate paths within the walls of the cavern. Which one do you choose? Um, forward. Oh no, it's totally the same as the other. You cautiously step forward into the darkness. You come to a divide. Which way do you go? Right. Oh. Um, I'm not sure this was the way. Before you can do anything, tentacles burst from the ground and grip your body. It pulls you apart, but you rip you resist as much as you can. Not sure what to do, you continue to resist until you can think of something. Your body begins to grow weak as your strength burns away. You suddenly feel yourself pulled to the ground as you are dragged about like a rag doll. It's not long before the creature devours your body, leaving nothing behind. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go one more run through. Come on, follow the path. Ah, I don't need to go in the cave. Leave the cave. Yes, continue on. Cross the bridge. Um, there's something I haven't been really utilizing, and that is the save function. So I'm going to save here. Wonderful. Return. We're going to go right. Uh, back into the tree. Press the knob. Uh, left, right, right. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, so, save right here. Return. So then we're going to go forward again, and then we're going to choose the left path. Same thing. Okay. Alright. So, we're going to go left here. Make your way through the darkness. You come to a split in paths. Which way do you go? Let's go right. You struggle forward as the way before you becomes completely dark. You notice that there is light off in the distance, and you continue to make your way forward. Eventually, you make it to some sort of concrete room. Turning around, you can see a hole in the wall where you came from. Your guess is that it wasn't part of the initial design. Hmm. You turn around to see a door. There being little to nothing in the room, you decide to move on through the doorway. Ooh. You find yourself in what looks like a basement. You turn around to discover that each direction there is a door. Boxes of supplies and debris litter the floor and corners of the room. You notice that there are several markings on the doors and floor, some of which scare you. You got a bad feeling about this place. Inspect the supplies. You walk about the room, browsing through the dust-covered storage. You find some rope in one of the boxes. It feels strong to the touch and has minimal wear. You decide to take some of the rope. Top one. You enter a small room. There is a large cauldron in the middle of the room with wood resting beneath. There is nothing on the shelves, as if someone cleaned this place out. You look into the pot, but find nothing in it. With nothing else to see, you exit the room. Middle door. You enter a room full of metal cages. Before you is a hallway marked with questionable markings. You don't like the feeling you have about this place. Whatever was in these cages surely did not like to be locked up. You notice that there is an animal in the cage on the left of the room, but from the dark stains on its fur, it is dead. You cautiously walk down the hallway, entering a room with two cell doors. Oh, 
before you can do anything, a large hound leaps in front of you. The beast doesn't look very vicious, but one wrong move can surely be the end of you. Realizing that you are not prepared for a moment like this, you slowly back away toward the other room. To your dismay, the dog follows your every movement. Before you can do anything, the dog leaps before you. You don't survive long and die a painful death. Your adventure ends here. Okay. And this adventure ends here. Because I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Bye!